Creating wireframes and brainstorming ideas with team members are all essential elements of the design process, but there's few whiteboards and softwares online which enable us to do these activities in an easy and fast way. Now, I think I've tried dozens over the past decade, and one of the softwares which I genuinely really, really like and enjoy using is Miro. And in this video, I want to share with you how to use it, what are the main features, and essentially why it's my tool of choice these days whenever I need a online whiteboard, which is enabling me to communicate and work together with team members remotely in a very straightforward way. Now let's get started and just before we do, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you want to bring your UI UX design career to the next level or simply get started in this field, check the link in the description and now let's go right into the video. Okay, so we're on Miro.com, which is Miro's official website. And as you can see, this tool enables you to create all sorts of different um, whiteboard uh, projects, uh, including uh, meeting uh, workshops, uh, and uh, you can create like um, brainstorm and ideation, you know, all of these uh, elements uh, which uh, you which which are essentially useful to work remotely. I use it all the time whenever I'm uh, working uh, on uh, a project. We need some sort of uh, you know, strategy, um, mapping, and, you know, even wireframing, some low level wireframing, um, it can really work well and it's very easy to use. So the ver very first thing that you want to do is to go here on start a whiteboard or sign up for free. And essentially this is going to redirect you to the uh, sign up section, which, uh, you know, pretty straightforward enter name, email, a password, you agree to both of these, or you simply sign up with Google or one of these social platforms and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, included for free, there's free editable boards, which I think is plenty, and uh, core integrations, limited team members, templates, uh, basic attention management, so you, you have a lot for free. So you don't necessarily need, need the upgrade. You can try it out for free easily. Then once you logged in, uh, you're going to be redirected uh, to a page uh, like this one where you can uh, see all the boards. Uh, so essentially the very first thing that you want to do is to click on a new board. Uh, just before we do that, uh, I just want to let you know that if you have more boards uh, right here, you can easily change it from list view to uh, this grid view right here. You can also change the order of these boards to last open, last modified, alphabetical order, or last created, which is really easy uh, way to sort it out. And uh, you can also change uh, and uh, search uh, the boards directly from here. So very easy way to actually go ahead and you know get started when it comes to finding and managing boards. You can also start a board in particular, and we're gonna explore that in just a moment, but essentially start boards, we're going to have a specific uh, emphasis. So in order to basically get started, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new board from here, and you can see also other um, boards that you can get started with. And uh, as you can see, we are now inside a mirror board. Now, the very first thing that happens is that this uh, pop-up is going to um, basically appear. It's gonna give us uh, some uh, templates that uh, we can uh, essentially uh, work around with. So it's essentially these uh, uh, templates right here. So you can see that uh, we can easily get started from uh, a specific point or we can start from scratch. Now, in this case, we're going to uh, use the icebreaker and uh, we can either preview the template before we get started and we select this, this template of course and as you can see very easy and uh, I'm not going to like make it full width but uh, you can definitely do so in uh, your screen reason being is that I'm on a ultra wide so <laughs> YouTube won't catch it but uh, you can understand and you, this is very similarly to, to Figma um, meaning that you can see a live preview, <clears throat> zoom in, zoom out. And uh, let's go ahead and let's use this 
pre-filled uh, uh, template right here. So as you can see, we have now this uh, template and uh, here you can move uh, using the command uh, and uh, the scroll wheel or simply using uh, um, command plus and command minus. But in order to zoom in uh, uh, fast, uh, I, I would recommend you to use command plus the scroll wheel. You can also use the space bar and hold and move around. So it's exactly like Figma or you know Sketch or other design tools that you're already familiar with. So pretty straightforward. Um, over here, you're going to find the main menu. So this is all where all the magic happens. So as a start, we're going to have the templates again. So you can change the template if you wish. You can also add some text. So let's go here and we can write. And then we can, of course, change the font, we can increase or decrease the size. We can make this bold, italic, underlined, and so on. Um, also, al basic alignment options, uh, bullet points or number lists. And uh, you can also change the text color and uh, make the text highlighted if you wish. And uh, basically, uh, this pretty much covers like all the basic tools. There's also some more here, but usually you won't need them for the most part. It's just things to uh, keep in mind. And um, yeah, that would be it. Uh, you also have the ability to have uh, to add a sticky note. So these are really cool because they adapt uh, on the go <laughs> pretty much. So you can very easily change uh, these uh, sticky notes around and uh, you can uh, of course, also change the colors afterwards and everything is uh, pretty much uh, editable. So it's very straightforward, very easy to use. These uh, tools are going to enable you to create like all sorts uh, of different uh, elements such as the emojis in uh, pretty much no time. Now, you also have basic shapes, which uh, you can see right here. So if you need to add a rectangle, if you need to add uh, a circle, can easily do so from this section and uh, there's even more shapes available to us if we click on more shapes so as you can see there's a uh, uh, there's a bunch more and um, yeah it's just pretty straightforward you can see here also the, uh, the different arrows that we have at our disposal you can add an arrow like this and uh, you know, you, you can change uh, the thickness, you can change a uh, different type of arrow and uh, also if you want it dotted. So very, very cool in that sense. You can also add these type of arrows, which uh, just adds a, a different uh, visual feeling. And of course, you also have uh, a pencil tool, which uh, can also be used with the highlighter and the, the, the smart drawing, this is pretty cool, especially if you're using a tablet. So if you're using Miro, for example, on the iPad, this is going to be killer. But essentially what smart drawing does, uh, it uh, uh, pretty much finds uh, what are the rectangles or, you know, circles or triangles and all of those shapes uh, pretty much uh, that you're trying to, to create. So for some reason, this is not uh, I'm just going to click on next. I think it's interfering with the smart drawing. But essentially, if you want to create a rectangle, it should, uh, yeah, exactly. It's going to essentially find the shape that you are trying to, to recreate. It's going to take a moment and then it's going to make it into a perfect shape. So really cool feature. Now, of course, the <laughs> they really catch the ellipse, but uh, let's you know, you, you can give it another try and then this time it's going to work. All right. And if you want to erase something, you can see that with the smart drawing, this particular feature isn't working at the moment. But if you want to go here and just erase something that you just created, it's going to be pretty easy. Now, you also have a lasso tool, which is uh, pretty much the same as Photoshop, if you're familiar with that. So it's going to select all of these elements and we're going to delete them. Now you can also add a comment and uh, you can also tag uh, individuals. So you can add, 
a comment right here. And as you can see, this uh, it's going to give us all sorts of different insights and uh, it's going to enable us uh, to add uh, um, different, more specific information regarding this comment. So pretty cool feature. Now, another thing that you can do is create uh, frames. So for example, if I want to create uh, a A4 page, you can do it directly from here. And if you want to upload, uh, for example, uh, an image, I can easily do so directly from the upload section. So you can see that now the image is uploading. I'm just gonna give it a moment. And I can already see the preview of this image. Now, on top of that, uh, Miro has all sorts of different apps uh, that you can sync with. So for example, one is the Icon Finder app and you can find icons directly here from Mirror. So if I want, uh, example, Facebook, I can go over, uh, over here and just drag and drop it uh, into the file and uh, you're going to have uh, the Facebook icon uh, right uh, here and then. And uh, you also have all sorts of different uh, apps uh, and uh, there's even more that uh, you can uh, uh, essentially leverage uh, if you click on view more and it's going to take a moment for whatever reason it's loading and uh, yeah here you can find all the different apps there's like <laughs> so many it's really hard to cover everything in one video otherwise it would be a 10 hour course but you kind of get the glimpse uh, and uh, there's so many apps probably going to do a video on the best uh, apps uh, uh, for mirror simply because there's like so many really cool ones. Uh, I would highly recommend you to check out, for example, Unsplash, so you can get royalty free photos directly in uh, your mirror project. And uh, also if you need to sync, uh, for example, a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet, you can do easily do it with uh, these apps right here. Uh, there's also Zapier. I'm just imagining how many um, possibilities an app like this could open up. And um, yeah, overall, this uh, is uh, pretty uh, interesting and uh, just a great way overall to, you know, uh, create uh, different uh, different elements and you know brainstorming ideas and uh, just uh, really leveraging uh, these uh, uh, cloud options uh, and cloud tools. Uh, uh, at its most. So I really hope this video was uh, helpful and uh, I also want to remind you that uh, if uh, you click on share, of course you can share this uh, uh, board with other team members, really, really key and important tool. Now, yeah, <laughs> going back to that, I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I want to remind you that on my channel you're going to have to find over 500 videos sharing my over decade of experience in UI UX design. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in learning more about this field and I'll see you in the next video.